What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. We're continuing on with some new first impression video series. We've got a lot of new stuff that we're getting to use thanks to Major Bass and Mystery Tackle Box. So I decided that we would come out here and say, hey, check this out, look at what we're using. Let's see what everybody thinks about it. So today's video, we have got, we're gonna do an entire company They've been with Major Bass for a while now, and I've actually had the pleasure of talking with the owner, and they are a really, really cool bait company. So we're gonna roll that intro, we'll check it out, guys. guys we have got jaw tech they produce some very unique bait stuff that none of my other sponsors produce so that kind of gives me the unique ability that i can still fish them and not infringe on my other sponsor stuff because they all make completely different baits everybody knows i fish for x zone i'm doing a lot of stuff with Guggen stuff and none of them are interfering with each other because everybody makes stuff that's a little bit different so it's a really cool partnership that i have with everybody so today we're going to go over a lot of jaw text baits that i've really fallen in love with a lot of cool stuff and the company is very cool all the way around so up first is the stud bug let me try to get that to focus for you guys the stud bug is a very uh finesse style presentation of a bait i'm gonna get one out for you all it gives off a very very unique presentation in the water and it's got studs all over it hence the name it's going to give off a very unique profile a very unique action and it's it's kind of imitating uh some centipedes some slugs uh lamprey smaller worm like stuff down there but don't overlook it as looking as a Senko too, and it's just giving off a little bit different of an action. It's gonna give off, it's a very multi-purpose bait. And let me tell you guys, these things stink. Um, they, they are raunchy. They have got a lot of smell to them. I believe that's garlic that I'm smelling. And that is the Irish whiskey color stud bug. So very, very cool bait. I like that one a lot. So up next is another small profile finesse style bait that is called the French Fry. This is yet again another finesse presentation that I've really enjoyed using. I'm gonna get one of these out here. This is this is one of those baits, guys, that when they are just super, super pressured, they're not wanting to bite anything, this is a go-to here. Definitely a good bait to use. Uh, it's a very, very small profile, as you can see, four inches, very thin. I love this on a shaky head. I love it on a Ned rig but I've also Texas rigged it as well with like an eighth ounce angler tungsten weight. Just something small enough that I can cast it, but it's going to give a very natural presentation. This is blue, blue flake they call it. Uh, it reminds me very much of um, like an electric red, uh, very similar to a plum as well. Very, very cool bait, uh, yet again, extremely strong smell they do everything in garlic and it is a very very cool bait i forgot on the back of it they do actually give us a little bit of a uh, a saying on the back they, they give you a little bit of information about jaw tech itself so i'm gonna go ahead and read that real quick perfection in motion since 1984 jaw tech has been producing success stories for fishermen across america by providing tournament tested products that have proven themselves in every corner of the country. Jaw Tech's superior color consistency and soft texture separates itself from the competition. Our eye-catching colors and lifelike action attract attention. Our super garlic flavor enhancement trigger strikes and our heavily salt impregnated, salt impregnation makes big bass hold on longer. Awesome bait, guys. They are made in Texas. Yet again, another really, really cool bait that, uh, Jaw Tech has come out with. All right, so the third bait we're gonna go over, and actually we're gonna do this one first, kind of keep with a little bit more of subtle baits. This is the KO Shad. From first looks, it looks like some kind of a fluke style of a bait. It is a very, very uh, thin fluke style of a bait, almost 
worm-like. Does have a little bit of a tail there that I'm sure will kick pretty nicely. Uh, cool thing about it, it does have a slot cut out in the middle for your hook to go in so it can be buried in there correctly. This is a very unique color. They call this um, Summer Shad. Uh, it's got a hint of green to it, a little bit maybe yellow. I'm not real sure what all's in there, what color wise. But a very unique bait. Uh, this is another one of those baits for finesse style presentations. It's going to be something that you can throw on the back of a Carolina rig and you can kind of multi-purpose. You've got a shad imitator, you've got a worm imitator, and it's going to just dart around very easily, very nicely. So KO Shad is a very cool looking little bait. And yet again, that was in the color Summer Shad. All right guys, so the fourth bait up, this is the Wacky Crawl in Blue Sapphire. Uh, everybody knows I love a good crawfish bite, and I love blue. So. Here it is, this is the Wacky Crawl. Trying to get it to focus, there we go. The Wacky Crawl has got a ribbed body to it, so it's gonna give off a lot of displacement. The claws are connected, but you can obviously separate those very easily like that. And it's going to allow you to be able to fish that on the back of a jig, Texas rig, Carolina rig again, Nico rig it. You can do all kinds of stuff, and I assume you can wacky rig it too, because it's called a wacky crawl. And uh, Carolina rig too, you know, guys, this is just a phenomenal looking little bait. It does all kinds of things. The antennas, they look phenomenal. You've got the antennas down here in the middle as well. All around, very cool looking bait. I'm trying to get it to focus here. It's not wanting to focus for whatever reason. Very, very cool looking little bait. And it does feel as though it's hollow in some places, which means it should float very, very well. And yet again, Jawtech is extremely salty and extremely garlicky. They, uh, the garlic just slaps you in the face when you open these things but it is going to allow for more fish bites as well. All right guys, so the fifth and final product we have from Jaw Tech. Uh, I'm really kind of excited for these. I think these look really cool, uh, mostly because of what they're supposed to do, and it is the Punch Shad. Uh, everybody's gonna be like, well that just looks like a, like a Kai Tech or something to me. Yeah, they kind of do, uh, but you can actually Texas rig these and they're designed to go down into whatever your Texas rig, like bushes, punching into grass, stuff like that. It's got a different profile to it that allows it to go in differently and actually fish differently. So if you look, the tail sits like this, so it's actually flat here. It, it's usually the baits are like this with the tail being like that but instead it's got a more flatter position to it, a flatter profile, and it's going to allow it to be able to punch down in there a lot easier, and you're able to Texas rig this and actually kind of punch with it. I like to flip with it a lot, but all around it's a really cool bait. This is, I'm trying to figure out what, co uh, what the color is. The color is called Trooper. Uh, it's a very, very uh, non-translucent white bait with, uh, it looks like a little bit of pepper in it. Uh, so that's, that's what I'd call it, I call it salt and pepper. But a uh, very, very all around cool bait that you're gonna be able to do a lot of different unique stuff with that you really can't do with other swim baits. And I think that's what sets them apart and makes them a really cool bait. All right guys, so there you have it, Jaw Tech, a really cool company that I've really enjoyed getting to work with through the Major Bass Box. We're doing a lot of really cool stuff with Major Bass. Uh, we will be going to iCast with Major Bass this year and for the foreseeable future. So be on the lookout, we've got a lot of really cool things coming with Major Bass. Guys, if y'all like these videos, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know. Jaw Tech. Have you all used Jaw Tech? Do you like Jaw Tech? What did you think of those baits? It's all over my hands now. It's very salty, but hey, if it works, it works, right guys? If y'all ever see me out on Cherokee Douglas, the honey hole, I'm going to be going to the honey hole a lot when I get back from ICAST. So if you all ever see me out there, come say hello. Take care, everybody.